emergency drills. You want to make sure your plans work. You want to practice your procedures with drills. Uh, you want to do this regularly so that way you train yourself to get it right when you're under stress because when an emergency happens even if you have practiced it even if you've thought about it a lot you're still going to be under stress and you're still going to be inclined to make mistakes especially if you haven't practiced well enough what you're doing so practicing things there's a list of things that I have suggestions for practicing and uh, just depends on your environment and your interests as far as what your household will decide to practice. This could be household, this could be business, could be a group, whatever it be. Um, to practice a fire evacuation. This could be for a household fire, business structural fire, or a wildfire. Um, these different types of drills would be, yes, a good practice to do. Also, carbon monoxide evacuation drill is another thing to go over. Earthquake drill, what to do when the earth starts shaking. Um, how to contain your utilities afterwards, how to shut down your utilities, how to, um, you know, where to go, especially when it starts shaking. Um, earthquake drill. Uh, intruder. What are you going to do here if someone gets in who shouldn't into your house? What's your procedure? Practicing that. Nuclear attack or a nuclear uh, meltdown of a reactor. Uh, other bug-in type drill that could be for a chemical or biological attack or something like that where a bug-in is the ideal thing to do. Uh, tactical bug in is where you'd be bugging in here to making sure here that you're prepared to defend yourself in your place as well. Uh, that's more probably grid down type stuff. A light bug out. Quickly grabbing a few items that you would need to run from something that's coming in. Um, that you have very little warning or notice for. A tactical bug out, if there is a situation where you do need to move and you need to have weapons with you, that changes things, so that might be something else to drill with. A heavy bug out, you're bugging out from home and not coming back for whatever the situation is. And that's a whole different type of bug out too. Um, these are just some suggestions of types of drills that you could practice to get your emergency response better practiced and make sure that you can get it right and make sure that you also when you're under that stress it can feel like a familiar stress which will make that stress not feel as strong too so it'll be like oh this is a fire evacuation we've done this a dozen times it's just like in a drill just there's actual smoke now but yeah so some suggestions Take them, leave them, add to them. Thanks for watching.